Hi, welcome to a new video about OBD and UDS. My name is Max Beck and I'm product manager for the diagnostic tester Indigo at Vector. Today's content is OBD and UDS at a glance. What is it? What is new? Second, what is the easiest way for you to approach OBD and UDS? And third, OBD and UDS diagnostics with Indigo as OBD scan tool. The following slide provides an overview of a new onboard diagnostic protocol. The legislation in the US has passed a new OBD standard, and this is defined in SAE J1979-2. With OBD and UDS, as the name implies, OBD functionality is mapped from UDA to UDS protocol. And this makes OBD and UDS compared to OBD2 basically communication protocol independent but still the CAN bus is used. There are several reasons for the switch. In addition to the pure mapping of OBD modes to UDS services, the onboard diagnostics has been expanded. There's a change from two byte DTCs to three byte DTCs, as the range of three DTCs defined in SAE J2012 Digital Annex becomes too short. Further, Request of more qualified data is possible to determine if OBD systems are working correctly. And more UDS services are available to improve diagnostics and repair of a vehicle. OBD and UDS is allowed in the US market for new vehicles starting in 2023 and is required from 2027 on. So there's a time period from 23 to 27, where both onboard diagnostic protocol implementations are allowed. So, and what is now the easiest way for you to start with OBD and UDS diagnostics? Therefore, Vector already offers a holistic tool chain for OBD and UDS. This supports all phases of development from selection of relevant OBD data, so the offering step with Candela Studio, to the implementation of OBD and UDS software components with our Microsoft components, to validation of ECU software with Canudiva, and applying diagnostics with Indigo as OBD scan tool. And how you can start the fastest with OBD and UDS diagnostics in Indigo, I will show you now. Indigo supports OBD diagnostics at the same time as application diagnostics. For OBD, we have special use case windows that can be selected from the navigation panel. I've already added all of them. You see them on the left side. Depending on the OBD implementation of the ECU or vehicle, the view of the windows adapt accordingly. In addition, there are special use case windows for OBD and UDS that map the extended OBD scope. But for now, let's stay on the OBD DTC browser. OBD and UDS defines 10 snapshot data for 5 DTCs per ECU. One snapshot is stored per DTC for the first occurrence and one for the latest occurrence. And to immediately see which DTC contains snapshot data, we added another column in Indigo. And if we click on such a row that has a snapshot data, the data is spread out and we see for the DTC, the snapshot data for the first occurrence and for the most recent occurrence or latest occurrence. Another use case window I want to show you is the OBD vehicle status window. Here we see an overview about the vehicle readiness. New with OBD and UDS is readiness PID F501 and also that we can read DTCs per readiness groups and see immediately which DTC is responsible while a monitor is reported as not completed. So if we look at our example, our Indigo ECU1 has the catalyst, catalyst monitor reported as not completed. And if we look at the monitor, there is a DTC connected to this monitor. And we can also read out the status of this DTC. And in addition, OBD on UDS allows access via the DTC to the test results of the monitor. At a glance, 
we see the reason why the DTC is reported. So in our case, the test value is out of the allowed range, therefore the DTC is reported. And because of the DTC, the monitor is reported as not completed. So you see this window accelerates troubleshooting. In addition to the two OBD and UDS diagnostic windows shown, Indigo offers other convenient windows that you can start directly with the OBD diagnostics of your ECU or vehicle. Have you picked your interest? Then try it yourself. Use the link in the description below to request your test installation. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.